And now it's time for our knockout round. What did we learn in the ring today? Well, we learned about Sweden's Muslim immigration problem. We learned about how refugees from Muslim countries are flooding into countries like Sweden. We also learned about how uh, the bishop of the Lutheran Church of Sweden, the largest Christian church in all of Sweden, Bishop Eva Brunn, how she has created a safe space, a sanctuary, so to speak, in Christian churches. What she's done is she's, re she's required one of her churches in Malmo, a seaport town, to have a separate room for Muslims to come in and pray, Muslim refugees. That room will be a safe space. It will be oriented towards Mecca in the middle of a Christian church. And she, w she has ordered that all Christian symbols be taken down, all crosses be removed from the room, any uh, vestiges of Christian iconography are taken out of the room so that Muslim refugees can use a Christian church to pray to a non-Christian God. And what's most problematic about this is that Bishop Brunn is actually a lesbian. Uh, in a mark of Christian tolerance, the Swedish church, the Swedish Lutheran church, ordained her as a lesbian. She's also married, Eva Brunn, to her uh, female partner who happens to be a priest in the very same denomination, Lutheran denomination, that Bishop Brunn is. And of course, this is progressive Christianity. This is the idea that we're going to show the world how progressive and tolerant we are. We're going to ordain gay women. We're going to let those gay women women be married to other gay women who are also priests in our church. The problem with all of this for Bishop Brunn is what is happening to homosexuals in the countries from which these refugees are fleeing? In places all across the Middle East, homosexuals, men and women, are being stoned, hanged in public squares in places like Iran simply for the sin of being homosexual. Now we've got homosexual bishop uh, Eva Brunn, who is eradicating the symbols of tolerance that put her in her position in the first place. In order to accommodate Muslims who are fleeing from things like anti-homosexual bigotry in their home countries, running to places like Sweden, a lesbian bishop now is eradicating the iconography of the religion that gave them that freedom. This kind of hypocrisy is much more about accommodation, much more about surrender than it is outreach. What kind of a Christianity is this that's embarrassed to do its good works in the name of Christ? Uh, that, I think, is a huge problem. Uh, the fact that you have a lesbian bishop married to her female priest lesbian partner uh, using now the power of the pulpit, the power of the church, to basically whitewash, sanitize Christianity out of uh, rooms in a church uh, that are de designated for Muslim prayer. We've also seen how Muslim icon iconoclasts are busily erasing all s symbols of all other cultures from the lands they have conquered, whether it's the, the Buddhas in Afghanistan or the artwork in the pre pre-civilizational artwork in places like around the museums where they're destroying it, or even in Italy, where refugee Muslims are destroying statues of the Virgin Mary and urinating on them. There is no tolerance in those cultures for other iconographical displays. And yet we have a Christian bishop now really ready to eradicate Christian symbology in order to appease and placate Muslim refugees. Well, this is a big problem. So uh, taking our journalistic responsibilities here at Right Makes Might seriously, we scoured the world for foremost Swedish authorities. We think we came up with the number one representative of modern Sweden. This person, when you think of modern Sweden today, this is your go-to person. This person seems to represent uh, what's happened to Swedish culture over the last 40 or 50 years of socialist control. So we brought him in and we asked him a very poignant question. Sir, how do you feel? about what's going on in Swedish Christian churches to this day. De what de hay indeed, Swedish chef. De what de hay. Well, we know from our gospels, don't we, that Christ says, if you deny me before men, I will deny you before the Father in heaven. What we have going on in Swedish churches now is an absolute denial of Christ in the name of a kind of squishy, postmodern liberal conception of Christianity that is actually embarrassed about the name of Jesus. In that regard, Bishop Eva Brunn is no different than the Muslim iconoclasts who, strip, who seek to strip Christianity and Christian symbols off of, off of Christian churches and, and eradicate them from the record. In that sense, she's a lot like that other Eva Brunn, Eva Brown who in Germany participated with Hitler in the absolute removal of, of Jewish symbols from all across the country in the name of embarrassment and social engineering and ultimately of the final solution. What happens when Christians in the West are more embarrassed about their Christianity than they are willing to stand up and defend the name of Christ? We have a big problem. Christ also in the Gospels famously let us know that he, he expected his followers to be wise as serpents, 
but as innocent as, as doves. Christians had to be both innocent and holy, but also very aware of how the world work, worked and what kind of forces there were that sought to swallow Christianity up. Well, modern Christianity, particularly in places like Sweden, but coming to an American denomination to, uh, near you, no doubt, we have decided that Christianity means being innocent as doves. And when we are innocent as doves as Christians, but not wise as serpents, then inevitably refugee serpents are gonna, are gonna gobble up us doves. And that's the situation as we find today in the modern world, and it's a sad commentary on modern Christianity. That's the knockout round. Don't miss a second of Dr. Do. Visit freedomproject.com and sign up for our free newsletter. Like us on Facebook or follow us in the Twitterverse. All the links can be found at freedomproject.com.